Hey everyone, welcome back to the UM Student Vlog. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, so we reached out to some fellow Wolverines who stopped by to give us a better understanding as to how we can raise awareness and support for those who experience sexual assault and other gender-based violence. Could you both please introduce yourselves? My name is Liza Ramsden. Um, I'm a sophomore at Michigan and I'm the president of the Alpha Chi Omega sorority. I'm Claire Fanning. I'm also a sophomore at Michigan and I am the philanthropy chair of Alpha Chi Omega at U of M. Firstly, could you tell me what kind of resources are available at UM to a student who's experienced sexual assault? So first, um, SAPAC or the Sexual Assault Prevention and Awareness Center is available to all students, faculty and staff who are survivors of sexual assault relationship violence, stalking, and sexual harassment. And there is a 24-hour crisis line, which is 734-936-3333. There's also the Counseling and Psychological Services, or CAPS, which is a free confidential service for all U of M students. Lastly, on the website, sexualmisconduct.umich.edu, there's a place for all U of M students to report any discrimination, discriminatory harassment, and sexual misconduct on a form. So if a friend or family member confides in you that they've experienced um, sexual assault, do you have any recommendations of what you should do like in the moment and then anything to do thereafter? Yeah, definitely. I think in the moment, it's really important to remain calm because you're going to be overwhelmed with emotions and whether that is anger and sadness, but it's not your emotion to have right then. It's you really need to remain calm and be supportive to the victim. Um, the next and the most important thing is to believe the victim um, because they're confiding in you and you need to tell them that you believe them. and. Third, you need to give the victim control of the situation. In their experience of the sexual assault, they were taken, the control was taken away from them. So it's really important that you give that control back to them. And you can let them know of any resources that are available to them, um, but do not force them to do anything that they don't want to do. Like if they don't want to report the situation or do not want to go to the hospital or anything like that, um, it's important that you don't force them to do anything they don't want to do, but let them know the resources and just to make sure you offer your support and keep their confidentiality. So for our next question, is it true that anyone can experience sexual assault regardless of their gender or sexual identity? Sexual assault can happen to anyone regardless of race, age, socioeconomic status, religion, or gender. Um, and there's a wide range of victims of sexual assault, including infants, people in their 80s, people of color, members of the LGBTQ community, disabled individuals, women, men, and children. I guess an additional question we have is why do you guys feel that it's important to bring awareness about the sexual assault um, incidents that happen? Yeah, so I did a little research into this question because I wanted to pull up some statistics to just show the severity of sexual assault, especially in our country. So all these stats come from RAIN, which is the Rape, Abuse, Incest National Network, and it's the nation's um, largest anti-sexual violence organization. So some of these stats are that every 73 seconds, an American is sexually assaulted. And out of a thousand sexual assaults, only 230 are reported to the police. This means that three out of four go unreported so we need to bring awareness so that survivors can feel safe coming forward and sharing their stories so that they know they aren't alone. And this is especially important in college where 20% of college age females and 32% of uh, college age non-females don't report their assaults. So I, I just really think it's important to bring awareness to what sexual assaults can look like, that it's not always rape and that's often what we talk about when we talk about sexual assault, but that's not always what it is. And we need to bring light to other problems of sexual harassment, stalking and sexual exploitation, just to name a few. Um, we need to be having conversations on what it is, what it looks like, how to prevent it and how to support survivors. And it starts with just that. And it starts with what we're doing right now and having conversations. On the topic of awareness, what can students and others do to raise awareness around sexual assault? The most important thing we can do is educate ourselves about sexual assault. So there's many national organizations that provide resources about sexual violence, including RAIN um, that Liza mentioned and the NSVRC. Um, so those are national organizations that provide resources for education about sexual assault. Another thing students can do is volunteer in your community. So at U of M, you can easily become a volunteer for SAPAC. Um, it's open to all currently enrolled students at the university, including undergraduate and graduate students. Also, you can volunteer at a crisis center, staff a hotline, participate in fundraising and awareness efforts, and advocate for survivors you might know. 
thank you so much for joining us today and like genuinely i know this can be like a hard topic or a difficult topic to talk about and you know bring awareness to it i'm super glad that you guys were like very able to speak upon it um so thank you so much thank you so much for having us